Every year, billions of packages are delivered to customers all over the world. Large amounts of data are collected to at every supply chain touch point from a customer initiating an order to the final delivery of that order. Customer information, GPS data, the number and types of items, carrier data, delivery information and so on. Logistics is concerned with the planning and execution of interactions between people, products and processes. Here's a fun fact. The term logistic derives from the ancient Greek word logos, which means reason. Some people believe it stood for practical arithmetic. Many logistics service providers today facilitate a massive flow of goods while also creating massive informational records. LSPs must tap into the valuable insight that data can provide because they are responsible for millions of dollars in shipping every day and millions of dollars in data. The practical application of such data can lead to the closure of gaps in logistic operation. In this way, we are reintroducing the term practical arithmetic. Amazon is a prime example of an efficient logistic flow. Buyers and sellers interact on Amazon website. Customer orders are routed to product warehouses which prepare the items for shipping. The warehouse coordinates with contracted delivery partners and products are shipped, tracked and delivered. While this is an oversimplified summary of what happens on the back end, it is a consistent pattern throughout supply chain logistics. Until recently, the logistic industry relied on outdated manual processes with inflexible gadgets and machine, resulting in lost productivity, profitable opportunities and customer satisfaction. However, this is changing. Logistic is an ideal case study for data science due to advancement in digital technologies, constantly changing customer preferences, and the success story of e-commerce. Combining analytics relevant statistics, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to explore trends and identify patterns will give LSP businesses a huge boost. According to a study conducted by the Council of Supply Chain Management Professionals, as many as 93% of shippers and 98% of 3PL companies believe that data analytics is critical to making informed decisions. Using big data and data science effectively will become a core competency of their supply chain organizations. According to nearly 81% of shippers and 86% of 3PLs polled, furthermore 71% believe that big data improves quality and performance. All of these points only serve to empathize the significance of data and logistic operation. Why don't we look at how it can be useful? The logistics industry is massive with the industry valued 15.5 trillion by 2023 and volumes expected to 92.1 billion tons by 2024. Today, supply chains are undergoing significant changes as a result of internal and external pressures such as rising costs, the prevalence of challenger startups, changing the landscape through technology and automation and the digital transformation of a seemingly traditional sector with data science and machine learning driving much of this change. Machine learning has the potential to revolutionize the logistics and transportation industry by determining the most important factors for the success of a supply network while learning in the process. So far, we've heard a lot about how other industries have used data science to transform their spaces. But how is the logistic and transport industry using data science to stay ahead of the curve and become operationally productive? Big data and logistics, as highlighted by DHL in recent years, are made for each other. Companies are frequently sitting on massive amounts of underutilized data that could help them in a variety of ways. Some examples of current data science application by data-driven businesses in the industry include lowering freight cost by optimizing delivery routes, warehouse optimization through dynamic price matching of supply and demand, demand forecasting, total delivery time estimation, extending asset life by detective patterns in usage data, identifying the need for maintenance. Hope you like this video. Let us know your opinion in the comment box and don't forget to like and subscribe to Learn Bay channel.